What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Adult. All right, man, look. Adrian Broner could have been undefeated. We could be talking differently about Adrian Broner. Now, is how do I feel about Adrian Broner? Number one, Adrian Broner, in my opinion, the first thing I think of is loser. That's the first thing I think of. Not because of what happens, what he does outside of the ring. And, and let me dive into that real quick. I'm not concerned about what anyone does outside of the ring. I'm not concerned at all. Uh, when they're showing their fancy cars, their diamonds, I can't spend their money. I don't care how successful or unsuccessful. I, I don't really care if they've been in jail or bankrupt or if they have a ton of money. Um, I, you know, it's messed up or good for you either way. My job as a fan is to watch what you do in the ring. That's my only job. I don't judge people outside the ring. I'm entertained as a boxing fan by what you do in the ring. And if you put on a boring fight to me, then you're a boring boxer. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're someone who take on challenges and wins, then to me, you're, you're a winner. Now, when I describe Adrian Broner as a loser, when I'm, that's, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is when fighting the big fights, more than likely, he lose in the ring outside the ring i'm not i don't judge him okay now that's what i mean but adrian broner could be undefeated adrian broner could be undefeated and here's what i mean by that he could cherry pick his career he could have cherry picked his career look who he fought look who he fought and lost to when Adrian Broner moved up to 147, he fought Pauly, and then he fought Marcos Maidana. Nobody's trying to fight Marcos Maidana, especially when you're a small man. He fought Marcos Maidana. He lost to who? Sean Porter. He lost to Mikey Garcia, and he lost to Manny Pacquiao. This guy fought Manny Pacquiao. He fought uh, Garcia. He fought Sean Porter, and, and he fought Marcos Maidana. Those are the guys he lost to. I have to give him mad respect for taking on those dangerous fighters. Who looks good against Sean Porter? Especially a man who came up from, what, 135? Who looks good against Sean Porter? Who looks good against Marcos Maidana? Ask Floyd Mayweather. Who looks good against Marcos Maidana? Who beats Mikey Garcia? Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. Um, Manny Pacquiao. Who looks good against Manny Pacquiao? Okay. So I have to give Adrian Broner love for fighting anybody because I'll tell you this, Adrian Broner could have been undefeated. We could be talking differently about Adrian Broner if he cherry picked his way up. If he never, if he stayed in the lower weight classes and didn't challenge himself by constantly moving up. Now, I know he didn't, um, he didn't focus when it came to, you know, staying in shape. Um, that's what I'm assuming. Unless he just outgrew the weight class, unless he just could not make weight no matter what. Um, it seems to me, though, he probably should have focused. But either way, though, he moved up looking for challenges. I got to give him his respect. I'm not sure if I ever seen him turn down a fight. I'm not sure if I ever seen. Have you ever heard of Adrian Broner being like, uh, nah, I'm going to cherry pick this guy instead of this guy? That's what I got to give him respect for. And I started to check myself on this one thing. Though Adrian Broner isn't the most skilled fighter, and though he underachieved when it came to natural talent and him developing skills and adding uh, wrinkles to the game, what I can't do is burn the candle from both ends. What I can't do is I can't criticize somebody for being a cherry picker and then get down on somebody for losing fights that are huge challenges because he took them. So I got to give him love for taking them. I can't criticize somebody for being a cherry picker than criticize somebody for taking hard fights. Adrian Broner took the hard fights. Now, what I can say about Adrian Broner is he's a loser. When it, in the ring, he lose. The big fights, he lose. Okay, so he needs to start turning that around and becoming a winner. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about... You know, what you guys think as far as perspective, as, as far as perception, as far as looking at Adrian Broner's career and can we give him love? So comment below. 
Can you give Adrian Broner love for starting off as this big name, as this big, you know, this guy that he still bring in the money. He still put butts in the seats and to start off there and not cherry pick his way to preserve that. Uh, or to or to create the perception of the fans for them to make him a pound for pound number because really he could have cherry picked his way to being in a pound for pound list as we speak, but he didn't. So I want to see what you guys think. So, think so. Comment below. Let me know what you think about Adrian Broner. Can you give him his respect for taking on all comers and fighting the tough fights? Showbiz the adult. I'm out. Huh.